Can you solve this maths problem? So we have a to the power of b plus a to the power of b is equal to 112. So let's watch it up to the end because the answer that shall get up to the end shall shall surprise you. It can seems to be easy, but let's now try it and see. So let's now start with the solution. So on the solution, we have 8 to the power of b plus 8 to the power of b is equal to 112. So the first step that we need to do we need to factorize a to the power of b plus 8 to the power of b. So the one can also be written as 8 to the power of b into bracket when I have 1 plus 1 is equals to 112. I've factorized a to the power of b plus 8 to the power of b. So this one now can be worked as 8 to the power of b into bracket. The bracket now shall be 1 plus 1 that is 2 is equals to 112. So the next step now is for us now to divide both sides by 2. So now here divide by 2, here also divide by 2. So 2 by 2 shall cancel. So now 8 to the power of b is equals to 2 here once, 2 into 12, 112 gives us 56. So here now comes the 56. So now how do we now find the value for b in this case? So it is proper now for us to introduce the log very fast so that now we are able to come up with the value of b because that is the trick here now. So now we shall have to introduce the log of 8 to the power of b is equals to the log of 56. So remember that assume we have the log of p to the power of x. So this one can also be written as x the log of the log of p. So putting this into consideration, now when you change the log of 8 to the power of b, now we shall now have b log 8. So b the log of 8 is equals to the log of 56. So from here now we shall divide both sides by the log of 8. So all the sides we shall divide by the log of 8. So this side also divide by the log of 8. So log 8 and log, log 8 shall cancel each other. So now there shall remain with b. Shall now is equals to the log of 56 all over the log of the log of 8. So it doesn't stop there. It doesn't end here. So let's now proceed by now having. So when you work out this value for b can have the log of this one now can still write it as 8 multiplied by 7 then all over the log of the log of 8 so remember that assume we have the log a b meaning that log a multiplied by log b this one we can write it as the log of b or plus the log of the log of a so when you put this one into consideration, now the log of 8 multiplied by 7, we can still write it by now saying that our b is equals to the log of 8 plus the log of 7, then all over the log of the log of 8. So now we shall now have to divide both sides by the log of 8 very fast. So now our b is equals to log 8 all over the log of 8, this other one. Then plus now we shall have the log 7 all over the log of 8. So let's now cancel the ones that we can cancel very fast. By now say that b is equals to log 8 and log 8 shall cancel. So now we shall have 1 plus the log of 7 all over the log of 8. So we can still recall that when we have, so let's now recall, when we have something like the log a all over the log b, so this one can also be written as the log of a to the base of b. So putting this into consideration, that is the log a to the base of b. So we can still write this answer as b is equals to 1 plus the log of 7 to the base of 8. So now this one now becomes our correct answer. Are you surprised on how you get it? So that is how we solve it. We can still recheck it by now confirming our answer and see if that is what we are supposed to get. So let's now try it. So when confirming, we had 8 to the power of b plus 8 to the power of b is equal to 112. So instead of having b, now we shall have 8 to the power of 1 plus the log of 7 to the base of 8, then plus again 8 to the power of 1 plus the log of 7 to the base of 8 should give us 112. So this one we can still write it by now having now 8 to the power of 1. So the plus shall now change to multiplication. 8 to the power of the log of 7 to the base of 8 
plus 8 to the power of 1. The plus shall now change to multiplication. That is now 8 to the power of the log of 7 to the base of 8 is equal to 112. So 8 to the power of 1 is 8. So now we shall now have 8 multiplied by. So the log 8 to the power to the base 8 shall cancel. So now we shall now have 8 multiplied by 7. So plus 8 to the power of 1 is 8. Then multiply by still the log to the to the base to the 8 shall cancel with the base of 8. So now we shall have 7 is equal to 112. So 8 multiplied by 7 that is 56 plus 56 is equals to 112 so these are now 112 is equals to 112 so meaning that we are very correct when we work out our answer and now we've realized that the correct answer after confirmation still remains to be b is equals to 1 plus the log of 7 to the base of 8 so remember to subscribe to this channel thank you